Okay, welcome to weather class. Today's subject is thunderstorms. Now, thunderstorms are pretty common. In fact, it's estimated that there are nearly 100,000 thunderstorms a year in the United States. But how do thunderstorms form? Well, it all starts with warm and wet air that rises quickly. Now, when the air rises high enough, it forms cumulonimbus clouds, which can look like an anvil. As that humid air rises, the temperature drops, causing the water particles to freeze. When the frozen particles run into each other, they build up electrostatic energy. And when enough electrostatic energy builds up, well, it's released in the form of lightning. Now, the lightning heats the air rapidly as it passes through it, so rapidly that it creates a loud noise. That's right, thunder. Now, a side note, since lightning is the cause of thunder, Every thunderstorm also has lightning, but it doesn't always strike the ground. In a thunderstorm, a lot of moisture has gone up into the clouds. When it gets heavy enough, it falls as rain. And that usually means a lot of rain, typically dropped in a short amount of time. In addition, the uprush of air creates low pressure, which is quickly filled in by more air, creating strong winds. Thunderstorms pose threats we need to be aware of. Fires from lightning, damage from high winds, and flash flooding, to name a few. Okay, your assignment. Make sure you pay attention to weather reports. When you see or hear that there is a thunderstorm watch, that means all the elements favorable to a storm are there. And when your regional weather center issues a thunderstorm warning, it's time to find a safe place, because it means that a storm has formed and meteorologists have determined there is a serious threat to life or property. Okay, that's it for today. Stay safe, and we'll see you next class.